time and memory frozen in crystal. The god that man built no longer exists, and academia's future has been reclaimed. Sarah and Noel return to find Hope and Alyssa waiting to thank them. Hope has initiated a new project to build an artificial cocoon, an ark to lift humanity to safety when the old cocoon falls. However, to levitate his grand project, Hope needs special ore clusters called graviton cores, and these clusters do not exist in the current age. young man and young lady how would you like to test your knowledge with captain cryptic's confounding quiz it can't be amadar you know him yeah he was in cocoon's army lightning served in his unit i've met him lots of times i am captain cryptic quiz giver extraordinaire so little lady how about that quiz that's weird he doesn't remember me sarah the Amadar that you used to know lived hundreds of years ago, which means... Hey, uh, Captain, you're not human, are you? Correct! Captain Cryptic is a quiz-centric duplicate. Let's get started, then. That's showing your smarts. <laughs> and we're still on the easy questions. Oh boy. They don't seem to have anything to do with the man you knew. Are they really that similar? Like twins. How did this happen? we need. You've brought us another cluster? <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean it. Sarah, did you really do it? We had. We had collected all the ore clusters Hope needed to levitate his new cocoon. I don't think I'd ever seen Hope look so happy and excited. But this was just the beginning. It would take a century to complete the new cocoon. And if the old cocoon were to fall before it could be finished, well... I know we can do it. <sighs> He's right, you know. <clears throat> Have you seen that broken gate in the town? Well, it's all fixed and working normally. We collected the ore crystals, so the future has changed, Kubo. Yes, I think so. And look what I found. It was lying next to the gate. <laughs> An hey. artifact. I wonder which era this unlocks. Kubo? Hmm. Maybe it takes us to the day that Cocoon collapses. The one we saw in the prophecy. The one where Caius is fighting. <laughs> Time for the final showdown? Let's all fight together. We'll follow you to the future by a different path. There are things there I have to protect. Right. You mean Vanille and Fang and the new cocoon. Oh, right. 
right. <laughs> It won't be long before they're able to launch their Ark. It just seems so incredible they've come this far. Noel, are you worried at all? Caius has tried to interfere before. Maybe he will again. Remember, the Caius who caused the Seath incident was just an imposter. I wonder why the real one didn't intervene. I hope he lets us finish here. Maybe he will. If that's what it'll take to protect Yule, then I know he will. I remember we argued about that very thing once and... and wait... <sighs> Did we argue? I, I don't remember. Are your memories playing tricks on you again? Noel, something must have happened between you two. <sighs> I... Damn it. I wish I could remember. Not being able to protect Yule. And being the only one left alive on the planet. And then leaving that place and traveling to Valhalla, I should know these things. I wish there was some way to find out. But I wonder, your memory's disappearing. Does it have anything to do with the future changing? It does look like the gate's fixed. I think we're getting close to some kind of final reckoning. Before we jump through this gate, we better make sure we're good and ready to fight. I wonder what Caius is up to. Where is he? Well, we still don't know if he really is against us or not. This silence makes me nervous. He's always been deadly quiet before taking action. It's like the calm before the storm. If he is in Valhalla, then he's been watching everything we've done here. And if he sees a weakness, he'll exploit it without mercy. We let our guard down, we die. So we better not use the gate until we are definitely sure. Koopoo? <laughs> exactly. Koopoo? Let's go. We don't have anything else to do here now. If we have to fight Caius now, then so be it. I'm ready. All right then. Let's go do it. <sighs> Leaving without even a farewell? Uh -huh. What? No. Of course not. We were going to drop by and see you before we left. That's what we figured. Thought we'd save you the trip. <laughs> cool. Thanks. I hope the future turns out like this. A place where we can be happy. Sometimes, when it looks like all hope is lost, people can turn against each other. They end up full of hate. But really, when they stop and think about it, they're making themselves sad for no reason. Director, what are you looking at me like that for? Huh? Sorry, I was just remembering something. There was a time when I almost lost myself because I had so much hate in me. And then some friends showed me a way out. 
Right. You mean lightning and snow. It all began back then. I remember, Sarah. Weren't you the first one who said you wanted to save Cocoon? It was because Snow and Lightning vowed to carry out your wishes that we all came together back then. And to this day, Vanille and Fang still keep Cocoon safe. Papa. And maybe Lightning does too. Yes, but the old arc is almost finished. It will fall soon. It's going to be hard for many of us to abandon our old home. When you raise the new Ark, maybe you can help our friends as well. They won't have to bear the burden of a world anymore. And just maybe, the Neil and Fang will be released from the crystal. That was always in the back of your mind, wasn't it, Director? <laughs> if we abandon the old cocoon, maybe you could free your friends. Or am I wrong? Well, I... <laughs> it's okay. We all knew. We wanted to help anyway. <laughs> I've had the great fortune to be helped by many people over the years. Sarah and Noel, you are the ones who showed me how the future should be. You gave us all a motive. You helped us make the Academy what it has become. Well, we got lost a lot. I don't know how many times I almost gave up. Humanity is doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. It's part of being human. But we also have the ability to build new futures. Well, as you would say, Noel, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Once preparations are complete, we plan to journey ahead 100 years. I want to be there. I want to see the raising of Cocoon with my own eyes. I'm sure we'll meet again, Hope. <laughs> and when we do, we'll have lightning with us. Right. So, I guess this isn't really goodbye then, is it? <laughs> For a new future. Yeah, Koopa. See ya. Koopa. 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 But in the new future that you wish to build, I no longer exist. Goodbye.